Hey guys, this is going to be my June book haul. Um, it's slightly smaller than my previous hauls, but uh, not by much. I only got nine books. That's better. That's single digits, so we're moving up in the world. I don't know if that's up or down. In my mind, that's down. I need all of the books. So I'm just going to hop into it. The first two books that I got this month, I actually got from a friend, um, and they are ARCs. I technically don't know if I'm allowed to haul these or not just because you're not really supposed to like resell advanced copies of books. I'm not, she didn't sell them to me, she just had them, read them, didn't want them anymore, and I was like, I'll take them. So, mm -hmm. so they're kind of old arcs. Whatever. Um, and the first one is Seeker by Arwen Ellis Dayton. That might be how you say it. Um, I mainly just really like this cover. I saw a little bit of hype about this book when it came out, but I haven't actually seen anybody review it, so I don't really know what the thoughts are on this other than it's a really cool, like, holographic cover. So I'm cool with that. It came out in February, so yeah, this is a pretty old arc, but all I know is it's kind of high fantasy YA, which is all the rage right now, so I will read that. And the other arc that she lent me is the Water Knife by Paolo. Oh boy. Bacagalupi? Bacigalupi? I'm just gonna stop trying to say that because I'm not even getting close. Um, I really like this cover and I'm pretty sure this is a fairly new release. Yeah, this just came out in May because I saw people hauling this in like their BEA hauls and everything. So that's pretty cool. Look how shiny that is on camera. That's pretty sweet. Um, it says the author of The Wind-Up Girl, and I actually haven't heard of The Wind-Up Girl, but I know he wrote Shipbreaker, which everybody really liked. Um, to be honest, I have no clue what this is about. I kind of just want to go in not knowing, so there's that. So June is also my birthday month. Yay! But um, my boyfriend, who is the bestest boyfriend, took me to all of the used bookstores in the county that I live in, as like a pre-birthday present because that's the best thing in the world. <laughs> so I didn't actually get that many. I kind of tried to buy like one book at each. So these are what I got. I don't remember where I got them from. They're just local independent used bookstores. So um, the first book I was actually really excited about, it's The Happiness Project by, who is this by? Gretchen Rubin. Um, I've seen some people talk about this book and I've just always really wanted to read it. It's a non-fiction book, just kind of about a woman's, uh, it's literally her happiness project. It's what she did for an entire year to try and increase her happiness in her life and her advice and like how to go about doing that. It just sounded like a really cool uplifting book that I really wanted to read because who doesn't like being happy? The next book that I picked up, I'm actually really excited that I found some of these books. It's The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. This is a fairly new book and it's won the Pulitzer Prize and I got it for like six bucks and it's the hardback and this is a pretty hefty adult hardback which is normally like, yeah this is normally $30. I would never spend $30 on a book, let's get real. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I don't know what it's about. I'm gonna say it's about a goldfinch. Probably not. That's probably symbolic. I have no clue. I also got The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Um, this is not the actual price. I paid $4 for this. Again, it's a brand new adult hardcover book for four bucks. So that's pretty cool. I know this is a mystery that everybody's talking about right now and it was super cheap. So I was like, yep, I will buy that. I also picked up Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. This book and me go way back. Um, I love Libba Bray. She's one of my favorite authors and I don't think this was the first book that I read by her, but this was the very first audiobook that I listened to when I started getting into audiobooks. If you guys have not listened to this, you have not experienced audiobooks. It was like the quintessential audiobook to get me into listening to books because I was very skeptical about listening to books and I don't know, I feel like the narrator can either make or break a book. This was perfect. <laughs> the narrator of this is the perfect dumb beauty pageant girl and it just made it 10 times funnier. This book is already hilarious and the voice actor for this was perfect. So I wanted to actually own a copy of this book just to like have it 
as a memory of my first good audiobook experience. So I picked this up since it was my birthday month, and go figure, people know that I like the books. So I got some gift cards to bookstores. So the main reason that I wanted to go buy books was this freaking book. I read the ebook of this like the second it became available at my library. I was like the first person on the hold list and man am I glad I was because I went and bought it <laughs> like immediately. Literally like the day after I read it, I uh, went out and bought it. So Member in the Ashes by Saba Tahir is awesome. It lives up to all the hype that people are talking about. And while I was there, I wanted to pick up a couple of the other books that everyone's talking about because there's a lot of books out right now that sound really interesting and I feel like the next month or so releases aren't as exciting to me. So I figured I'd get them while they were big. Um, so I got The Wrath of the Dawn by Rene Adier, I believe is how you say it. I know this is a retelling of 1001 Nights. Um, and I'm just really excited about it. It's a really pretty hardcover. I'm glad that I got it. It just sounds really good. So I picked it up. And the last book that I got while I was there is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Maybe? Um, all I have heard is amazing stuff about this book. How funny it is, how good it is, how like good feels it is. Um, it's blurred by Andrew Smith. It's blurred by a ton of people. Um, so I just really want to get it and it only happened to be in hardcover. I think it's still fairly new, so I think it's only out in hardcover right now. But I figured I'd pick it up while I was there, so I did. And so that's it that I got in the month of June.